Hey loves, welcome back to day 15. Today we are discussing creating vision boards, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite activities to do. Um, so I will be sharing how to create your own vision boards. Why do vision boards work? I mean, because you are attracting your whole life experience through your thoughts, right? So according to the law of attraction and the Bible, especially Proverbs 23 and 7, as a man thinketh, so he will become. So a vision board is really, or they call them dream boards as well, but it's a powerful law of attraction tool that really helps you narrow down your desires through the power of choice. And this tool helps you to invest the time and energy to visualize your future and consistently remind you of your life goals. I mean, visualization is the most powerful mind exercise that you can do as we learned in yesterday's video. And creating a vision board does allow you three reasons why um, it helps to manifest that which you desire. Number one, it's it gives you the power of choice. So, I mean, vision boards, it really forces you to examine your desires and focus on those that truly matter to you. So, when you, when you choose what to put on your vision board, I mean, it seems so simple, but it's very powerful and it's very meaningful. Because the process of making those choices sends a very specific and personalized message to the universe about your desires. And our brain is an incredible machine that is geared towards making us successful with every action that we take. So our brain trains our bodies to prepare for action. And when we imagine ourselves preparing for an activity, our brains actually runs through that process and it sends the signals to the rest of our body to complete the action. So just choosing and visualizing that which you want actually is training your brain to manifest it in your reality. Also, it gives us the power of visualization and Visualization is nearly as powerful as performing the action itself. Because when you visualize yourself living in your dream home, for example, right, your brain trains your body for that reality. I mean, as we spoke about the subconscious mind on day two, again, it does not recognize or it doesn't decipher reality from imagination. It only manifests and attracts that which you are thinking of. So if you are thinking of setting this goal, and if you are visualizing yourself and how you will feel and what you would do as you are setting this goal or as you are achieving this goal, your subconscious mind picks up on that. And that's when opportunities and, and people are synchronizing and coming about through that attraction and through those thoughts. Also, the power of consistency. I mean, there's no doubt that consistency is key. Whether you are attempting to learn a new skill or create a new habit, consistency is what's going to get that. We're wired for repetition, and every time we repeat an action, we become stronger with that action. So by creating a vision board and placing it in a spot that you see every day, you create that opportunity for consistent visualization to train your mind, your body, and your spirit to manifest your desires. See, the wonderful thing about a vision board is that it only requires time and energy for the initial creation. 
you put that energy and that time in creating this vision board. After that, the consistency and the visualization happens every time you look at it. Every time you look at it. It sets the tone for the day. When you look at your vision board, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to do. My actions need to be in line with what I'm trying to achieve here. When you go back into your journal and revisit the goals that you set down and the steps that you made to achieve them and the reason why you want to achieve those goals, that wires and that actually sets the tone for your actions for that day. You're not going to too much spend or waste any time on things that do not align with what you're trying to achieve. It also sets the tone for when you go to sleep and what you're going to dream about and, and what your subconscious is going to pick up. That's why I say those affirmations and that gratitude just repeatedly, repeatedly speaking affirmations, powerful, positive affirmations over your life and repeatedly writing down what you are grateful for really shifts and opens you up for abundance and that which you are grateful for. It just attracts more abundance and prosperity in your life. I know this for a fact. So action step 15, creating your own vision board. I want you to think of what you desire to manifest. What are your dreams? What are your goals? And then find images that represent your desire. Find the images that represent your desires. Google images. I like to use Google images. I just type in that which I desire <laughs> or a goal or, or a material tangible thing. And it brings up these beautiful pictures. I print them out, cut them, boom. Magazines, pictures of you and your loved ones. Anything that inspires and motivates you, you can use for this vision board. And then just place them on the vision board um, and place the vision board somewhere you can see every day. Now, some people tape these images on a vision board so they can take them off and, and you know, um, remove as they see fit. Some people use glue. If they If there are just concrete visions and goals that you want to manifest, You know, you can use those images every day. But here is a, um, here's a picture of my vision board. And it's right here on my bedroom wall. So every time I wake up in the morning, I see this vision board. It has my Buick LaCrosse. I don't know. I want that Buick LaCrosse so bad. It's such a beautiful car to me. It has my dream home. My dream home has an island <laughs> and counter space so I can cook. My 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 dream home has a master bedroom with an ensuite and a walk-in closet. I, I visualize myself having that. I visualize my children having their own rooms. I visualize me traveling the world. I love to travel. So I want to travel around the world. I visualize myself always, always putting God first. I visualize myself having a 750 to 850 credit score. I have the smart technique on there. I have an image of someone who is balancing their chakras. I desire to have to be grounded and my chakras to be unclear and unblocked. Family, it's everything. Like those little boys are everything to me. So I try to consistently do activities that bring us closer together. Peace. I want to attract my twin flame. Love and marriage. Eating more healthier. There's an image of a woman who's kind of slimming down progressively. That's me. Prosperity. Like, 
a goal without a plan is just a wish. I tend to have very ambitious goals, some that I do not follow through on. So this season of my life, if I have a goal or if I have a dream or if I have an idea, I want to be consistent and take action and reach out and use my resources to make it happen. There's no more excuses. So this is a reminder. This is my vision board. Um, I had my son do a vision board. Um, But like I said, it's just a powerful, powerful tool um, to remind you of what you want in life. All right. So you guys have fun with this. We're going to spend Friday, Saturday um, and Sunday doing or actually Friday and Saturday. Um, Sunday, I'll be back with another video. You guys, we are almost done with this challenge. You guys are doing so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be announcing the next winner for the Amazon gift card on Sunday. All right, so you guys have a beautiful and productive day, productive weekend. Um, Please post in the group pictures of your vision board or some of the things that you're posting on there. I would love to share this experience with you guys. All right, loves, be blessed. Bye.